In order for you to bring the right people into your life, you have to be the right person. I said this on my podcast two years ago and I got a really long email from someone and they said, well, that's not true because, you know, the right people can still come into your life when you're not the right person for yourself. Sure. If you want to believe that, believe that you're not going to get any argument from me whatsoever if you want to believe that. But if you take the data of your own life, okay? Don't take the data of my life. Take the data of your own life. See, and that's why you have to be careful who you listen to. Some people are speaking from their own perspective. Some people are being objective. Some people are being uh, subjective. Some people are trying to help you. This is why you have to listen to yourself. Take the data from your own life. Look at the people. Okay, you're going to look at two situations. Look at the people who were in your life when you were hot, vibrating at your highest, when you were, you know, in your best shape mentally, physically, you know, you had your career going, the point where you were just at your best. It could have been high school, it could have been grade school, it could have been last week, it could be right now. Take the point where you're just at your best, where you just feel like you were at your best. Even if you have multiple points, just take one, which you should have multiple points of you being at your best. Just take one of those points. Now, take one of those points of you being at your lowest, okay? There may be an overlap because there could be a person that knew you at your best and knew you at your worst. Big picture, okay? Holistically, think about who was in your life when you were at your best, and then think about who was in your life when you were at your worst. Think about who had more access to you when you were at your best, and think about who had more access to you when you were at your worst. Don't be too critical of those people. Just observe, just get the information. Free your energy, get the information. Okay, I was at my best. This is what was happening. This is who was in my life. Hmm, good information. Okay, I was at my worst. (laughs) This is who was in my life. This was happening. Hmm, good information. Now that you have the data for your own life, right? Because a true teacher is not gonna tell you, you know, what to do. They're gonna show you how to do it for yourself. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to examine your own life. Who the hell was in my life when I was at my best? Who was in my life when I was at my worst? Who? Last thing you got to do is understand that each one of those people, they represent a certain archetype of person. So then what you have to do is you have to examine and investigate what type of person you're allowing to come into your life because the type of people that are in your life is really just like a circle, right? It's just like a circle. It's a pattern. It's a cycle. So what's the archetype? Okay, this person, let's say their name was uh, Jade, okay? Jade was in my life and Jade brought XYZ type of energy. Jade is no longer in my life, but now Jade has been replaced with Victoria and Victoria is bringing the exact same energy, the exact same situations, the exact same style that Jade was bringing, which is causing me to be in this place, which you know is good or bad, however. See, and once you look at your life that way, once you start breaking it down that way, then it becomes a lot easier to choose the right people for your life because you're seeing people for who, who they are, right? For your energy.